I appreciate your time. I got two quick questions for you, and they're about players, and they are guys that are interested in Michigan. I know you're you're down there in the Sunshine State, right? Yes, uh, Saquon Patterson is a five star safety, you know, from Hollywood, I, Hollywood, Florida. I know one of Michigan's commitments for twenty five, uh, Chris Ewald Jr., a yeah. four star corner, I believe, is in the same high school. But you know, he says he likes Michigan. Do you think they got a shot? I do think they got a shot. The longer this thing plays out, it's probably the better for a school like Michigan. He's about to take that return visit up to Ann Arbor, as you mentioned. And, and this is a very structured kid. He's a captain at Shamanan Madonna. He's very much um, methodical in, in his decision making. So a well-organized approach, even a defensive laden approach, as, as some would uh, suspect with Michigan, is something that's going to appeal to him, even though it's probably the furthest school from home that he is uh, considering at this point, but they absolutely have a shot, especially the longer this recruitment goes. The shorter, you probably lean a little bit more towards Miami, Florida State. Auburn feels pretty good right now, but the longer it draws out, particularly into the season, you feel better about Michigan's chances 100%. All right, and and one final one is David Sanders Jr., and that's a, a 25 recruit, a, a tackle. The good news is, uh, you know, he's at where Jaden Davis is at, Providence yeah. Day. In Charlotte, North Carolina, I think additional good news is Shannon Goodwin is his teammate, who's a Michigan commitment. Maybe bad news is, uh, you know, Jordan Ship. It doesn't mean it's automatic, you know, that these guys are all going to follow Davis and and uh, and Goodwin to Ann Arbor. But uh, do you feel like Michigan has at least a good, pretty good shot at maybe landing you know, the best tackle in the class next year? Look, they're, they're right in the thick of it. You mentioned the obvious connections, and, and that matters. And I think what's shifted with recruits, particularly in the South and how they view Michigan, is the winning. You know, sometimes we get so caught up in NIL and all these other intricacies. Michigan has been in the playoff. Michigan has climbed over aggressively that Ohio State mountain in the Big Ten. That stuff really does resonate and matter uh, with, with the Southern recruit because it's about that exposure and that profile. How visible are you? as a program, all of that stuff carries more weight in that Michigan offer over the last two, three cycles. It's heavier when kids get it, which is why you see kids committing earlier. Chris Ewald, who you mentioned, might be the number one corner in the country next cycle, committed very early and has conviction in that verbal commitment, though, of course, he's young and, and there's other schools involved. So that matters a little bit more at Michigan right now. Uh, so it's a great time for them to pull further away from that classic Midwestern footprint, in my opinion. <laughs> 